What is going on? Welcome in and welcome back. I am Luke Goodish, author of the forthcoming thriller novel, Frozen Wrath. This is Save for More. Before we begin, let me do some housekeeping and say that I know I've been missing in action. I know that the book club was non-existent last week, and that is because my son was born last week. Um, so the, I've been with my wife and my newborn, just enjoying time at home with them. That's where I've been. That's where I'll be. But content is going to start picking back up. So be here, be subscribed, um, and, and I'll be around. Starting with this video right here and right now. In today's video, I want to talk about uh, an idea that's been just heavy on my mind lately. Um, now that my son has entered the world and just seeing him and, and having these thoughts that the way he views being a man, the way he views being uh, heroic, the way he views America, X, Y, Z, the, the way he views this world is, is going to be so reliant on me and not even so much what I say, but how I live. What has occurred to me is this feeling of, of stepping into the arena, right? For lack of a better way of putting this, it's kind of like boxing, right? You can want to be a boxer. You can think boxing is really cool. You like the aesthetic. You want people to think you're tough. And, um, but it doesn't matter your thoughts or your, your desires toward wanting to be a boxer if you didn't put in the hard work, if you didn't actually train, if you didn't actually learn to box. When you get into that ring, when you step into the arena, you're going to be exposed. You're going to... Um, get hit a lot and you're going to miss a lot of your punches and you're going to be put out pretty early in a boxing ring in the arena there is no place to hide you were exposed we talked about that in the contender um book club uh episode one but with my son it's the arena of life right i i feel like i've stepped into this arena of life where now this individual is going to have eyes on me and he's going to hear what I'm, I'm saying and the messages i want him to receive but if I don't live in alignment with that, if I don't live congruent to the message, if I don't try my best to live as a good man by example, um, then it doesn't matter, right? That's what he's going to receive. That's what he's going to have learned. And so whether you're a father or not, I think the idea that I'm trying to get across here is that you need to take your role as a citizen, as a person very seriously um, and, and try to work towards becoming an asset rather than a liability, become somebody who's worth looking up to, become somebody who inspires hope and, and, and can be a good example that someone can latch on to. And there's this idea of force multiplication, which means, you know, Tim Kennedy was talking about this on his new podcast about violence, which I definitely recommend you go check out. But he was talking about how, you know, when you train to become somebody like Eli in that food court shooting, a, a, a young kid who took out his concealed carry pistol and ended a threat um, and saved innocent lives, when you train to become somebody like that Eli character, you become a force multiplier. Those around you are impacted and become better themselves. You don't change the world by starting with the world, right? You start with yourself, make your bed, right? Make your bed, take care of you, um, take care of your wife, take care of your kids, take care of your nieces, nephews, take care of your circle of influence. And that is how you can create the greatest impact. Batman doesn't save the world by just saving the world. He is a symbol. He is one man standing for something more. And, and that translates and that, that carries on. He becomes the symbol. But that is what I'm getting at here today is that you need to become the symbol. Set that example, put the bar higher for those around you and yourself. I posted a Louis L'Amour quote on my Instagram today. It said, uh, there's a lot of good men out there. I just wish they had louder voices. There's a lot of evil happening in this world. There is a lot of evil that happens right in front of other individuals. Individuals who just sit there and watch, who become bystanders, who don't say anything, they don't stand up, they don't speak up, they just let it happen. Don't be one of those individuals and don't let those around you become those individuals. That's all I've got. I hope this made sense. I'm running on very little sleep here. My brain's all over the place. I'll be quite honest with you. I've tried to film this video about 15 times. Um, but that's the message I want to give out is that you are already in the arena of life. It's just hitting me and it feels that way because I'm a father now, but I've been in the arena of life. There have been people watching me. There have been people um, that I've influenced without even knowing it. Same goes for you. 
So make sure that you step up for you and for everyone around you and for the future of this great nation. Um, so thank you. Love you guys. I'll see you.